whenever you're not talking, right, just like I look there. Look at her. Okay. okay, then whoever's talking, she look here, lah. Okay. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Hello, I'm Li Ting from the year. <laughs> no, sorry. Hello, I'm a year three student. <laughs> I'm Li Ting, a year three student. Okay. Next one, don't say I'm Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Li Ting, <laughs> I'm a year okay. three student. Hi, I'm Michael Chu. I graduated from SMU in 2005 with a degree in business management. Currently working for my family's food manufacturing business and overseas business development and operations. I've been married to my SMU sweetheart Jillian for 14 years and we have three lovely kids aged 13, 11 and 8. Michael is a very supportive and gracious and encouraging person. I really admire his compassion despite having a busy schedule and a family to look after. He still continuously contributes back to the community. I'm really appreciative of all the support he has given me and honestly, I never thought that I could receive such a massive support from both Michael and his wife Jillian. They also went above and beyond to ensure that if I needed any more help, to feel free to approach them. Hello, I'm Li Ting, a year 3 student from the School of Business Management. For my career goals, I want to do something which I could express my creativity as I graduated with a design diploma previously, before enrolling into SMU. I chose a marketing as my major because I think it will really aid my entrepreneurship dream in the near future. Since young, I have always been joining CCAs and tried different dance genres through the years. I discovered SMU Caderas Latinas, a salsa performance team, that I, and I have always been an adventurous person, so I was instantly fascinated by the tricks that were executed by the seniors. Although it was a really high commitment CCA, the satisfaction after putting up a performance outweighed the sacrifices. Most importantly, I developed many connections and allowed me to have a holistic university life just like many of my peers. Li Qing is a special person. In my interactions with her, I find her humble, sweet and good-natured. I was very moved by her application letter for the bursary. I think despite the challenges she faced from a young age, I respect her for continuing to pursue her education. She took on jobs to supplement her family's income and it shows the special heart of a daughter. Juggling both work and studies at such a young age is no easy feat. I think the COVID pandemic has been hard on many. Uh, Li Ting's family was not spared and there were also new health challenges on the home front. I can only imagine the weight on her young shoulders. And so, I marvel when I learn that she still takes time to mentor kids who come from underprivileged families. Li Ting's life's journey is unique to her. It has shaped her to be a compassionate, resilient and focused individual. And she will be a blessing to people around her, both in the workplace and in the community. About a year ago, my father suffered a stroke which impacted his mobility and he's still unable to work. Currently, my mother is a sole breadwinner working as a cashier and my brother is serving NS. Prior to receiving the bursary, my family was not able to keep up with essential living expenses as my father's business was not doing well. We received never-ending late payments, reminders from telecommunication services, school fees and even received lawyer letters. There was a point where my father had to resort to borrowing money from his friends just to resume utility services. Ever since poly, I had to pay on my own school fees by working part-time and so when I had the opportunity to continue my education, I was unsure whether I should take it up because I fear that I may not be able to handle the school fees as the difference is quite big compared to poly. But I took the leap of faith and prior to entering, I was desperate to save money for school. So I took up day job and a night job to actually help to save up money for it. Since it was during COVID, I worked from home during the day and became a temperature screener at night. I decided to support Li Ting's undergraduate studies through the SMU ACF bursary. I hope that it will be a way for her to experience the fullness of university life without having to worry about how to fund it herself. I think my wife and I are thankful that we have enough to provide for our family. We also recognise the importance of an education. We also remembered in our secondary school years classmates who came from underprivileged backgrounds. They would be sleeping in class because they had to juggle work and school to help their families make ends meet. We've seen some drop out because it was just hard to keep the grades going when there were bread and butter issues to deal with. Surely, with all that we've been blessed with, we could give some people a leg up in their tertiary education and a more even start to being able to provide for themselves, their family, and hopefully pay it forward 
to serve the community. This led to the decision to set aside a sum each year to help a less privileged student through undergraduate studies at SMU. The bursary helped me tremendously as I could focus more on my studies and I cut down on part-time job. It allowed me to focus on my interest for dance and gave me the courage to continue my education journey. In addition, the bursary allowed me to explore my leadership skills by running for executive roles for both Caderas and SMU Youth Mentors. SMU Youth Mentors was a really special CCA as it gave me opportunity to give back to the community through mentoring sessions for the underprivileged students. So Li Ting, take this opportunity to pursue the modules, CCAs and internships that interest you during your undergraduate life. Study hard and play some. Perhaps even find your life partner like I did. Don't be afraid of hard work because it helps you to acquire the skill set you will need to build a solid career. Desire to learn and grow. And that said, make it a meaningful career in the quality of work that you do and in the interactions with people. In other words, pay it forward when you can that's how I've discovered that my work can bring fulfillment, purpose and joy. I think you actually receive more when you choose to give. And in giving, my wife and I have gotten to know Li Qing, her story, and she has been an inspiration to us. Personally, I feel that being able to give it any form, whether it's a time of intellectual knowledge, is a privilege. It made me realise how fortunate I am in the midst of my struggles. It definitely gave me motivation to never give up and keep me going. I would really like to express my gratitude towards Michael and Chilean for supporting me through these years and you guys are an inspiration to me too! <laughs>